أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم إنا نحمدك حمدا كثيرا طيبا يرضيك يا أرحم الراحمين نحمدك على نعمة الإسلام ونحمدك على نعمة الإيمان ونحمدك اللهم على أن جعلتنا من أمة خير الأنام محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إخواني وأحبتي في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هذا لقاء متجدد الحمد لله رب العالمين أحييكم بتحية الإسلام وحياكم الله وبياكم وجزاكم الله خير الدنيا والآخرة آمين رب العالمين My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته All praises due to Allah عز وجل We seek his help and his forgiveness Whosoever that Allah عز وجل guided him There is no one can misguide and who went astray, there is no one can guide him but Allah Azza wa Jal. And I bear witness that Allah Azza wa Jal is one with no associate, with no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, alayhi salatu wa salam, is his messenger and his final prophet. May Allah Azza wa Jal put his mercy upon his final prophet. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. This is Imam Jalal Abdul Wahid from Masjid Ar Rahman in Turban Spring, Florida. Associate and they have the honor to be with you in Masjid An Nur in Wesley Chapel. And I really thank you, I really appreciate that you are attending this meeting. And uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil I mean, I'm gonna be the host for the whole month of Ramadan. Dear respected brothers and sisters, indeed, that Allah Azza wa Jal said, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, Wa'adullah. Wa'adullah, la yukhlifullah wa'adah the promise of Allah Azza wa Jalla. In the hardest time, when I'm gonna go to the prophets, peace and blessing be upon them, alayhim salatu wa salam, jami'an. When the hardship and hard time coming, imagine Prophet Yusuf, peace and blessing be upon him, alayhim salatu wa salam. Prophet Yusuf, when his own brothers, right, they try to kill him, even they thinking to to kill him and finally they put him in the wheel you know and uh, he is alone he's a young age he he doesn't have no food doesn't have nothing it's very dark of course you know down so it is a very hard situation we do not think that uh, in, in, in the middle of the road, they like say to him, oh, my dear respected brothers, let's go to the wheel. No, they didn't say that. Of course, they hit him. You can imagine, like log logic, if, if we use our logic. So they hit him, they treat him very, very bad. Then after that, they throw him, Allahu Akbar. So what happened after that, at this time? with nothing with him at all, nothing. Allah Azza wa Jal, at this particular time, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْهِ And we reveal to him, لَتُنَبِّئَنَّهُمْ بِأَمْرِهِمْ هَذَا وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ That you're going to say to them what's happening now, you will remind them about what happened today, and وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ And that time they will not pay attention, because they will not remember until you say to them, if this happened, yes, it's happened. Why it happens? Because Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who promised. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the one who said that this is gonna be happened, and it happens later on after a long time. When Prophet Yusuf, be some blessing be upon him, he became Al Aziz, right? When he became Al Aziz, and Al Aziz is a position, you know, and he, it's like the the one who responsible about the treasury, for example, you know, the secretary of tre treasury here, like in, in America. So it's a very big position. So when he reached to this one, and when they came to him, and they put themselves down to him, and when they said to him, Ya Ayyuhal Aziz, Masana wa ahlana dur, wa jina bi muzja. You know, when they say to him, finally, after that, he said to them, you know, do you remember what you did with Yusuf and his brother? He said, they said, Are you serious? You are Yusuf? He said, yes. 
نعم أنا يوسف وهذا أخي I'm Yusuf and this is my brother قد من الله علينا الله عز وجل gives us from the bounties إنه من يتقي ويصبر So the, the, the evidence here that Allah عز وجل did his promise الحمد لله رب العالمين They respected brothers and sisters In most cases when you have a hard time when you are despair you know when you have no hope sometimes because everyone we are different but base when every one of us or any one of us have a problem and all of us of course there is no one clear 100 percent if if i have a money maybe i don't have a good health if i have a good health maybe i don't have a money if i have a money and good health maybe i don't have a wife if i have a wife maybe i don't have kids if i have kids maybe they are girls i need a boy if i if i if they are boys maybe i need a girl all the time if i have a business i need another one no one wallahi the one who has like a large number of the money like a million or not million million not nothing now the one who has like a billion billion dollars Subhanallah al I don't know the million or the billions anyway. But the one who has this big money, he's not also, he's not happy. Meaning he's not happy all the time. Nothing. Nothing stay. Subhanallah al Every hard time, Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who said that, فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ Allah said that, Subhanallah al With the hardship, with the heart, with the difficulty, there is an ease. With Allah doesn't say it after يُسْرَ No, Allah said يُسْرَ But we just we are in hurry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said الْإِنسَانُ مِنْ عَجَلٍ You know the mankind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like designed him and created him from, from haste. You know, we need everything fast, fast. Food doesn't even cook well, and I need to eat now, now. If I read one book, I, f- I think that I'm a scholar now. So this is not the way it's supposed to be, my dear respected brothers and sisters. May Allah bless you and your families. Ameen, Rabbil Ameen. So Allah Azza wa Jal said that about the Prophet Yusuf and he did, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Ameen. The Prophet of Allah, peace and blessing be upon him, Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When they are migrate, migrant, him and Abu Bakr Siddiq, in their way to al Medina, from Mecca to al Medina. Now, the people of Mecca, they dislike the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They even thinking to kill him, right? And how many times they think to kill him? And they are who? They are the people who they, they, they raise together. They are parts from his family. He, his uncle, his blood uncle. Allahu Akbar, ya akhi. What, what you need more than that? So, they kick them out or they chase them in order to kill them, right? Now, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with Abu Bakr Siddiq, Allahu Akbar, they are with no that food enough, no transportation enough, they are, uh, they are escaped, right? And they do not know what's going to be happen. Then after that, when they came chasing them, until they reach to Ghar Hira, until they reach to, to you know, Abu Bakr Siddiq, he said to him, Oh, Prophet of Allah, even if they look down, right, just right down, they will see us. He said to him, La tahzan. The Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to him, La tahzan. Don't be sad. And by the way, sadness is a very bad situation, my dear respected brothers and sisters. La tahzan. And it is a lot in the Quran. لا تحسن. Same like the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, Prophet Musa. When uh, when the old man they said that his name is the uh, Prophet Shuaib. Some some scholars said that when he said to him his story, he said to him لا تحسن. And or لا تخف. Same thing. لا تخف. When you are afraid or when you are scared, you cannot focus. Can you imagine that scare? You, you don't know what, what's happening. What's, what's going on? You are scared. And this is a very, very bad situation. You cannot focus. 
you cannot think proper you know proper way why because you are inside the problem very important thing also my dear respected brothers and sisters you know when you when you when you have the sadness in in, in, your, in your heart may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you all glad inshallah rabbil alamin and gather us together in jannah with the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is a very bad situation when someone really really sad he cannot even think if he eat he doesn't know even what he eat what 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 he ate is this fish or chicken or or what's happening everything just same maybe he doesn't even like to eat or drink so sadness is very very bad so abu bakr siddiq may allah be pleased with him at this time he was scared about about what and worry about the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, La tahzan. But at this serious situation, at this serious situation, everybody in Mecca they dislike the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they try to kill him. Then after that, what happened? Allah has revealed the Quran that Allah in the farada alayka al Quran. The one who, you know, revealed the Quran upon you, meaning Allah Azza wa Jal, لا ردك إلى معاد. ردك? ردك, it's meaning you will be back to Mecca. Really? At this time? At the time I just go out of Mecca? And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he looked to Mecca. It's his town, his own town. He born there. And he said, well, he, 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 he swear by Allah. That you are the most beloved country to me. This is the only one he knows. This is his memories. This is where he grew up, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and if the, you know the, my family or your family that already kicked me from it, from you, I will never go anywhere else. Allahu Akbar, ya akhi. So at this point, Allah Azza wa Jalla revealed the Quran to the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You will, you will be back. You will be back. But when? When Allah wants. Not now. You will be back. And guess what? The Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Inna fata'na laka fatham mubina. We open to you a great victory. Great victory. وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ You remember when we talk with the, our brother, uh, uh, brother Dr. Muhammad Rabin, may Allah bless him, Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen. When we talked about the battle of Bad, you know, that the, the woman Nasru illa min indillah. We have to admit, it's not, it's, it's not, for, it's not from us, Wallah. It is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The victory from no one but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to understand, we have to admit, we have to bring it, you know, to, to, to justice, you know, to Allah Azza wa Jal. Then what happened when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened Mecca to the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What's happening? When he entered Mecca, he entered, like we said before, we, he entered that he's, he's bowed down. Why? Why? To be humble to Allah Azza wa Jal. Humble to Allah. It doesn't say to them, hey, you remember what you did to me? You remember, hey, you, you remember what, how you're cursing me and you said to me such and such? You remember when you tried to kill me? Now I'm in a position. And you know what, my dear respected brothers and sisters? When you get the authority, you know, it's easy now to talk, you know, about, uh, yes, uh, forgiveness and uh, and everything is going to be okay, inshallah. And I will forgive you for the sake of Allah. But when you have the authority, it's different. It's different. When you, when you sit on the chair of the authority, it's completely different. Now, subhanAllah al now you are the upper hand. You are the upper hand now. But the Prophet, Prophet Yusuf, he doesn't did, do nothing with his with his brothers. You know why? Because his mission at this life is to fix the problems. The missions of the of the prophets and messengers is to fix the problems. How many listens and listens and listens in Surah, in Surah Yusuf? It's up to you, inshallah, if you want uh, for us to make one uh, day or two days for Surah Yusuf. It is up to you. Please write down to me. Until now, no one writes anything. It looks like no one loves me at all. 
But you know what? I love you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless you, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Amin, Rabbil Alameen. So the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he returned to Mecca with the victory. And he is the messenger. And he is the leader. And he is the father. And he is, alhamdulillah, and he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He returned to Mecca with the victory. With the victory of the Islam. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal said so. Because the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your respected brothers and sisters, if I promise you, for example, and I have the honor, alhamdulillah, that I, way, I was, uh, I believe last month, I did the khutbah, I delivered the khutbah, two khutbahs in, in Masjid uh, Wesley Chapel, Masjid An Nur, and it's a beautiful masjid and beautiful community, and I love them, inshallah. So if I say to you that I will be back this Juma, maybe I did, maybe maybe I come and maybe not because I do not know what gonna happen to me. Maybe the car gonna stop. Maybe I have this Allah Allah forbid accident. Maybe I get sick. Anything could be happened. There is no guarantee because we are human being. We're not perfect. But when Allah Azza wa Jal said, you know, Wa'ad Allah, the promise of Allah. Allah will not return at all. Hasha lillah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. How about, how about the story of Musa? Peace and blessing be upon him. Allah Azza wa Jal said to Ummu Musa, Wa awhayna ila Ummu Musa. We revealed to Ummu Musa. Revealed? One minute. I thought that they revealed only to, to, to the messengers and to the prophets, right? That's what we thought. But Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa awhayna ila Ummu Musa. Allah revealed to Ummu Musa, correct? Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed ila an nahl right? And it takhdi min al jibali biyutan. Allah. So, so what, what's happening? What's going on? Do you respect the brothers and sisters? This is the dominion of Allah Azza wa Jal. He do whatever He want. Whatever He will. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even said, وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ Allah. You did not choose nothing without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing. You're breathing. Inhale and, 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 and exhale without the permission of Allah. Never happened. Never. It will not happen. So, We revealed to Ummu Musa. How? We don't know. It's not our problem even to know. Allah has said that. There is a lot of questions Unfortunately, when we hear it, we say, SubhanAllah, it's, it's not, I'll give you, for example, the, the mother of Musa, what's her name? And they make a big deal on it. What the problem? If her name is Fatima or Aisha or Sumaya or Habiba or what, what, what the problem? What, what is going to make a big difference to know her name? Right? How about... It, it's, it's similar to, you know, to this, a lot of questions. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمُّ مُوسَىٰ أَنْ أَرْضُعِيهِ You feed him from your breast, you know, feed, feeding him. Okay, from your milk. فَإِذَا خِفْتِ عَلَيْهِ And when you be afraid upon him. فَإِذَا خِفْتِ عَلَيْهِ What happened? فَأَلْقِهِ فِي التَّابُوتِ Then put him in the box, you know, tabut. Okay? فَأَلْقِهِ فِي الْيَمْ then after that you throw him alqihi you know alqihi alqihi is meaning when 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 you have the ball and you just put the ball and you hit the ball alqihi not put him easily way and in a good way no allah azza wa jal fa alqihi fil yam why it's very very fast because the people of pharaoh they are behind you and they're going to come come ask about about musa or about him if you have baby boy or no and of course, you know the you know the story that Pharaoh he already dream that uh, there is the fire come to his throne, and he asked the people, you know who uh, who al kahana, the priests. He asked them, and they said to him, actually, someone from the children of Israel, he gonna be born, and he will destroy you. He gonna be the reason for you to destroy you. So he got scared and he get you know the order for every single male if he born he must they must slaughter him or kill him right away but the girl is okay no problem 
So Ummu Musa, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Ameen, she hired her baby until she delivered him. Then after that, maybe the news come. Now the people of Pharaoh, the soldiers, they are here. So there is no time. It's action. Whoever, whoever can, can, can imagine that, that she will put him on the, on the, on, on the river. On the river. So what happened after that? On the river, how he can, how he can, how he can breathe, right? How he can be safe. Maybe the waves gonna, gonna put him upside down. Dangerous. There is a lot of alligators in all the fresh water. There is a lot of danger everywhere. Okay, then after that, what happened? So the, 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 the sea or the, the, or the river going to take him to the other side of the shore. Okay, alhamdulillah, my son being there, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. All praises due to Allah Azza wa Jal. Who's going to take him? Oh Allah, who's going to take him? Someone he, is, he has mercy in his heart, alhamdulillah, and pious man and, and, and very good family? No. Allah Azza wa Jal, he said, Wait a minute. Wait a minute, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Who's going to take him? Meaning enemy to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you imagine? Allahu Akbar, ya akhi. Wallah, if it, if, if it is a movie, we will see, it will be like, huh? What happened? Enemy to Allah Azza wa Jal. An enemy to Musa himself. At this particular case, there is no hope. Hopeless, right? Done. Done deal. Then after that, after that, وَلَا تَخَافِي ah, Allah Azza wa Jal said to, 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 to the mother of Musa, you know, to his mom, وَلَا تَخَافِي And do, do not be afraid. You remember? وَلَا تَخَفْ لَا تَخَفْ وَلَا تَخَافِي وَلَا تَحْزَنِي And you remember too, لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا You know, Allahu Akbar وَلَا تَحْزَنِي Then after that, what happened? إِنَّ Look at the generosity of Allah. Look at the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna radduhu ilayki. We will bring him to you. Wallahi, fair enough. Fair enough. If Allah azza wa jalla subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory be to him, if he said to the mother of the Musa, to his mom, if he said to her, you know, after, for, for example, like next year, you will be able to go to the Pharaoh uh, castle, to see your son, for example, two times a year. Oh, alhamdulillah, very good. My son is in a good condition. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. At least he's safe. Fair enough. After all this journey from 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 a taboot from the box to the to the to the sea or to the and 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 the sea, there's the dangerous from everywhere. How he can breathe? If we open the box, maybe the waves are gonna come inside the box, and if we close the box, maybe he die. It's a lot of danger everywhere. There's big fish, you know, here and there, and the waves, and alligators. Well, Allahu Akbar. And if he reach, when he reach to the other side of the shore, who gonna take him? He, who the one who gonna take him? He is the enemy of Allah, an enemy of Musa. Hopeless, done deal. Ma, done. Alhamdulillah. What 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 you want more than that? So fair enough. If he just be alive, correct. But Allah Azza wa Jalla said to her, "Wala taqafi, wala tahzani. Inna raduhu ilayki. You're gonna stay in your house, in your home, and we'll bring him to you." Allahu Akbar. Thank you, Allah. Thanks. Be grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Is that it? No. Generosity from Allah Azza wa Jalla. This is where, at the most dangerous situation, right? Most difficult situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَجَاعِلُوهُ مِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ Wow. And we will make him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will make him among the messengers. وَجَاعِلُوهُ مِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah promise. Right? And Allah promised us, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Allah azza wa jal promised us. Promised us with what? When you have some difficulty in your life, back to Allah. Go to Allah. 
rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not do not do not, not nothing more. You shouldn't leave your Quran. You shouldn't leave your 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 your, uh, your place to to pray to Allah Azza wa Jal. This the hard and difficult time, you know. Sometimes Subhanallah al Azim, when Allah Azza wa Jal give the test for the people in order to bring them back to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So if I have little fever or little sick or if I have stomach. Uh, problem i said oh allah i ask you to cure me right right so when we have this and we have alhamdulillah when we have the patience allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us double reward and you remember that when the prophet of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam he said ma min ma min min, min shawka shaka yusibaha al-insan illa katab allah lahu lahu biha hasana aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wasallam there is no even like small nail small nothing anything anything want to you or to your body subhanallah you have you have why you have a good deed with it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you to him near him remember allah sometimes this dunya takes us the dunya is big huge you know i have people here in the masjid subhanallah after fajr they say to me wallahi one of our brothers you know he said to me this word and i keep really look at it and think about it he said to me i will go to the danger now i said to him why what happened what you gonna do today i do not understand but he said to me i'll go to dunya here i'm in a house of allah Azzawajal, but i'll go outside to the dunya i don't know what's gonna be happen pray for me make dua for me subhanallah al-azim what a wise man what a wise man right dunya is big huge you have cars you have houses you have you have you have all everything you have outside you have desire you have and especially that uh, if somebody if we if you work for example eight hours your shift is eight hours and if they say to you can you take a hundred dollars more and you work for another hour you said yes why not how about 150 dollars with another hour yes why not you are tired you are you are you almost collapse you know but yes why not because we love that you love the money. You will love it. all of us. Who doesn't? My dear respected brothers and sisters, my advice to you and myself. Put the dunya here in your bucket. Don't put it in your heart. Because if you put the dunya in your bucket, it's easy to take it away. But if you put the dunya in your heart, you will never take it away. You will never. I'm gonna be selfish. I'm gonna be try to take everything possible from everyone. Why he has this one? Why? And I'm gonna look to everyone, everyone. Why he has a new car? Look. Why I don't have a new car? Why he is happy? I'm not happy. Why I have a new house? I, I don't have. Why I have a new wife? No, 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 not new wife. Subhanallah. So, so why we will keep looking? One time I said it in Juma. I said, you know, everyone he wants to elevate himself, you know, who has who has one car, he wants another car, who has the house, he wants another house, who has the kids, mashallah, he wants another kid or another girl, mashallah, who has a wife, he wants another. Then I stopped. You know, I was scared, of course. I said to them, you will go home safe, inshallah, Rabbil you know, this for, for you. By the way, dear respected brothers and sisters, it's normal we laugh if i am not in, in in ramadan you're gonna find a cup of coffee and i drink because it's normal like that i feel that i'm i'm, I'm sitting with you you know it's not like official and stuff i i i, I dislike that if you allowed me of course you know to be uh, to be your guest so subhanallah al-azim wahad allah this is the promise of allah azza wa jal you respect the brothers and sisters we need to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no worry. Everyone all over the world, everyone, each and everyone, give me anyone. He is the, like live in the fame and in the high and, and he doesn't need nothing. Everyone, Allah, he has something. He has something bothering him. He has some problem. No one clear. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ Today I'm sick.
tomorrow my brother may Allah bless you Amin ya Rabbil Alameen and all your families after tomorrow our sister after tomorrow my son after just like that no one no one other voice again it's gonna be the Jannah gonna be meanless why will go to Jannah for if we have everything here but no no we have we have a lot of problems here at this life but the smart and all of you smart alhamdulillah I mean that he will stop there is enough for for you know for for abusing or enough for for problems you know enough is enough you have we have to 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 stand and to think again one more time where are we at i am right or no if somebody oppressing me and if somebody abusing me or if i abuse someone if, or, or if i oppress someone up to where where i am we need to ask ourselves i know that the time is up inshallah but i mean just in one more minute we need to ask ourselves very important question where are we at what are we doing and where we go where are we at alhamdulillah we're born we will not say well why you are here and what is the reason and all this stuff but where are we at right now what i'm doing what i'm working i am right now now i am good or no what i do now is good what i do is is it allah azza wa jalla gonna be gonna be satisfied with with what i'm doing or no i'm doing the right thing or no we need to ask ourselves just just let calm calm down because we are in a hurry hurry boom boom everything no calm down and just think about it you have statement from the bank right yes you get a statement from the bank or online or whatever yeah so when you see the statement of the bank you have everything you did so please have statement with yourself and think about it i am right or wrong if you are right do more to be with the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and if you're wrong we need to repent to allah because we are life alhamdulillah we are lucky wallahi we are lucky we are life we repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah with his generosity inshallah can gather us together in jannah اللهم اغفر المسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا ربنا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اشف مرضانا اللهم ارحم موتانا اللهم كن لنا ولا تكن علينا اللهم اقبل تائبنا اللهم تب علينا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم تقبل توبتنا واغسل حوبتنا اللهم كن لنا ولا تكن علينا اللهم تقبل اللهم اهد عاصينا رد غائبنا كن لنا ولا تكن علينا اهدنا واهد بنا اجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم لا تعذبنا بذنوبنا صغائرا أو كبائر يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم تب علينا اللهم لا إله إلا أنت نسألك وأنت الكريم أنت العظيم أنت الرحمن أنت الرحيم نسألك يا رب العالمين أن تغفر الذنوب وتستر العيوب اللهم يا رب نسألك الغفران يا رب نسألك الغفران يا رب نسألك الرحمات يا رب نسألك من فضلك العظيم يا أرحم الراحمين ما لنا إله غيرك يا الله ندعوه ونرجوه وأنت رب العالمين أنت ربنا أنت الذي خلقتنا تعلم يا رب مدى ضعفنا تعلم يا رب مدى تكاسلنا اللهم إنك أنت العظيم أنت الكريم نحن الفقراء ونحن المساكين يا أرحم الراحمين اهدنا تقبل يا رب صلاتنا تقبل يا رب صيامنا تقبل تفضل علينا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم تقبل تقبل منا صالح الأعمال أعملنا بسيطة والله يا رب والله يا رب أعملنا بسيطة لا ترقى أبدا لأن, لأن, لأن اللهم اللهم اهدنا واهدبنا اللهم خذ بأيدينا يا أرحم الراحمين آمين آمين يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صلي وسلم وزد وبارك وأنعم على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا My dear respected brothers and sisters I love you for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى May Allah bless you and I see you tomorrow إن شاء الله جزاكم الله خيرا Don't forget to write down if you want about the Surah Yusuf إن شاء الله Just write down You see the checklist ما شاء الله White Why nobody loves me I don't know why but I still love you جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله